Oh, hello. I'm just playing with my porcupine quills. Aren't they so neat? I just love those little lines on them. But when I'm playing with these porcupine quills, all I can think about is another Depression era food. Have you ever heard of porcupine balls? Well, I hadn't, and I hear they're quite popular and people do still eat them to this day. But I decided to make porcupine balls. During the Depression area, they involve, they do involve using beef, and beef, as you may know, was hard to come by. So they did learn if you have a little beef and you add some rice to it, it helps plump up that beef and helps expand it so you get a lot more for your money. So that's kind of how porcupine balls involve rice and beef. And so when you look at the balls, you see these little pieces of rice and it's like, those look like little quills. <gasps> but how do they make these porcupine balls? Let's find out now. <laughs> Well, here they are, the porcupine balls. They look so large and meaty. Right, there's the gravy that you use that rice a packet for. I served it with some mashed potatoes, which was recommended. But you can definitely see the rice in the porcupine ball. Hence the reason. Oh my gosh, they're so firm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's you try this depression treat. I don't think I'll be depressed after eating this porcupine ball. Let's see. Mm-hmm. It's firm. It's perfect. It's definitely a filling meal. I might not be able to eat all these porcupine balls. Let's try that mashed potato. Wonderful. This is a great depression treat. Well, thanks for visiting. See you next time. Bye. Watch out for those porcupines. Mm.